Hey yo dog, I heard you like updates. So today, I'm gonna keep you up to date with an update about the upcoming update that will be coming up sometime this month as soon as Bungie comes up with a date. <laughs> but information keeps trickling out of the Bungie pipeline about the upcoming 1.1 patch. So, what's up guys, it's Jay, more than kill, and I'm back here on Destiny. And today is Valentine's Day. Which means this video will have to be quite quick. Because my dick isn't. <laughs> when you're an adult, you gotta do things that you don't like. So I'm gonna have to suck it up, guys. I'm gonna have to take one for the team and get some pussy tonight. Man, life is rough, isn't it? <laughs> I might even have to get my dick sucked, guys. It's terrible. <laughs> Seriously, though. No. Bungie is gearing up a huge update that's still supposed to come out sometime this month of February. Now, I originally heard a bit of info that this patch was ready to go live this week, but now we have word that Bungie has added in some user interface changes in the form of a reputation menu that drops down from your inventory screen and shows you the progress of all your factions with just one simple drop down menu and THANK FUCKING CHRIST BUNGIE! <laughs> Do you know how annoying it is to have to run all the way from the bounty board to the new monarchy before I turn in my bounties to see which faction is closest to leveling up? It was almost as annoying as Kermit the Frog living his entire life with another man's hand up his asshole. <laughs> so, not only will update 1.1 Point one, have this new reputation drop down menu, but it will also be launching with a huge weapon balance update, including that awesome 100% damage increase for PVE shotguns, and the infamous heavy ammo bug will be fixed in this update as well, where if you have armor with perks that increase the amount of heavy ammo you're carrying when you die or go to orbit, Sometimes when your character is repopulated and respawned in the game, it will steal ammo from you. And the amount of people running low under the stocks of heavy ammo, that, uh, that purple drink is becoming increasingly more and more important as the weeks go on and sure doesn't carry heavy ammo since, which actually might be because Bungie doesn't want you to waste your strange coins on ammo that's gonna disappear and I know you're gonna be like, but that wasn't a problem before, Zhur's always been selling heavy ammo, why is it such a big deal now? Well, because now all the raid gear comes with stats that boost your heavy ammo, so more and more people are being hit by this bug, and I guess Bungie is kinda just trying to limit the amount of damage that's being done by this raid gear set that has this uh, bug that's been affecting Many, 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 many motherfucking people! <laughs> so, my name is Jay. What did I have to kill? I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, really comment, subscribe. If you could leave a thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. So, uh, that's an update on an update that's going to be coming in a future update. <laughs> At least Bungie is working on giving us what we want. And now that we see Bungie doing some user interface changes like that, all you guys out there that have been waiting for some really serious changes coming up pretty soon. I think we're probably going to see them with House of Wolves and people are like, Oh my god, why did House of Wolves get pushed back? Well, if if they keep adding awesome shit inside this, they, they, they can push House of Wolves as far back as I want. Because they can just keep adding free shit to the game to make people happy. I'll be fucking ecstatic about that because I, I have people over here coming on my channel and clickety clack back. I fucking hate the DLC. I don't want to pay the DLC. They're twenty dollars for DLC. It's way too much for this game. Even though you you already paid twenty dollars for four fucking maps in Call of Duty for the last fucking ten years. Four maps for twenty dollars in Call of Duty. That's what you guys been paying. And, and fucking a couple missions, some brand new weapons, a whole refresh of stock of weapons, and a raid is is too much for fifteen dollars. Talk about that another day. <laughs> so my name's Jay. More than after kill. Thanks for watching. And I'm gonna see you guys. Later.